What's going on guys? It's David and Wayne and Jason again. <laughs> yeah, Jason's uh, back and uh, brought him brought his Marshall amp. It's a little class 5. Yeah, Marshall class 5. This is the second version of this amp. Um, the first version that came out of these that they came out um, with, uh, they had cabinet rattling issues. Um, there was no attenuator on it, so you couldn't lower the volume. It was just straight out five watts. Um, I remember when these first came out, I remember going to uh, actually the place I work at right now at the time. Um, I wasn't working there then, but I, I, I walked in and I, you know, my, my buddy Dave's like, we got to play, the, try these. I've heard things about them. And I, I remember hating it. I remember absolutely hating it. It, it sounded very, um, the, the bass knob on it is, is, is very uh, wobbly and, and, and muddy and, and unclear. Um, they really kind of fixed that with the new version. Um, and the other thing I found with these amps is you really can't, especially with a P90 or a humbucker pickup, um, you really can't crank the bass too much. It's, it's yeah. better if you crank the treble and the mids all the way up and you'll get that crunch that you need. Um, the cool thing about this amp, it's five watts. No, it's very small. I gig with this thing. I've gigged um, in front of 10,000 people at the state fair with this. It was obviously mic'd in that situation, but I have gigged with it unmiked at many now when, situations. Now, when you first came here, you had the attenuator all the way on, all the way up to five watts. I did, and that was shockingly loud, being down. Shocking, like, 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 like almost actually, like I was worried about your neighbors <laughs> being upset loud. <laughs> and yeah, and even down here. Um, so when we did the video on the guitar on the Epiphone, we had to put it actually. We were on half a watt. Wow, for that, for what we <laughs> did there. So this thing, at, at, and I know uh, I have a lot of guitar players like, how is that possible? Five watts, five watts. If you're thinking in terms of a solid state amp or even a lot of modern tube amps, five watts is not going to seem like that much. No, when you have a pure old school amp like this one. That's you're, it's using all tube um, electri uh, electronics with it. You know, you're not you're not hybriding the amp at all. You're not using you know just a preamp tube like a lot of like you know the hybrids do now. Um, you just get so much more volume. I mean, I've had 40, 50 watt solid state amps that couldn't even hold a you know a candle to this. Um, and it, it 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 sparked a lot of excitement amongst my friends and and fellow bandmates. I went out and bought one of these. Actually, I got it a really good deal from a coworker of mine. I'm not even gonna say what I paid for it because I still feel guilty. <laughs> um, he gave me a super great deal with the cover. Um, as soon as I got that, my best friend Dave, he's like, dude, I gotta have one of those. He he bought one. He went and found one. Then Bill went and found one. And um, then, like I said, um. We were talking. The uh, I went to an open mic. The cook played guitar. Who the cook who worked at the bar, and he came out, stopped what he was doing, because he loved the tone of this amp so much. And then he went and got one. So you know, um, you know, imagine being at open mic, and one night we all bring our amps there, and it's just nothing but class fives all over the stage. <laughs> um, Joe Bonamassa did a launch of these when they first came out. And from what I've been told, and I don't know if this is 100% true, um, but from what I understand, you know, I'm upset that they don't, I'm really truly upset that they don't make them anymore. And um, the reason being that is, is, is there's, this is a made in England amp, the, the money that they were putting into them was not coming back out because the, they, were they weren't asking too much for these. Right. Um, you know, some boutique manufacturers for a, a, a five watt amp like this might charge you eight nine hundred dollars. What was the amp that we? What was the amp that we saw at uh, the guitar store up over in Dundee? That was uh, I don't remember what that was. was yeah, it? that was. Uh, there was a. I mean, Jason, it, it was like this big. I swear to God, it, it, yeah, it, no, yeah, a boutique, yeah, yeah the, 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 probably hand wired too. This yeah. one is not hand wired. That's the only. That's my only. Uh, yeah, but complain about that. Yeah, one. That, that one was fifteen hundred dollars. Right, exactly. And it was, you know, it, it, it looked like an old school radio. That, that's right, how small it was. and that's what you're gonna really pay for when it comes to boutique amps is when you have that point to point hand wiring. Um, this thing has been my favorite amp though, and it, it it's almost been a curse because. They don't make them anymore. So it's like, I want more of these. I want them to make more stuff like this. And companies just aren't making these low-wattage right. amps anymore. Right. Um, 
So I, you know, I absolutely love it. I gig with it. I, I cherish it. I, I bring it to rehearsals. I'm absolutely in love with this amplifier. Yeah, sure. Plus the fact that you know you're not pulling around a, you know, an eighty pound uh, speaker cabinet and another eighty, 80 pounds, pounds on a head. On a head, and you know you grab your guitar in one hand and amp in the other. And I'm glad you brought that up. This actually does have a head version, though. There okay. is a head version. Really? So that's actually the more common version you'll find. Really. Um, and that you brought that up, this has a, a I can plug this into a 4x12 cab. Okay. It, it does have an extension for it. They actually made a cab. Um, a friend of mine's buying one right now for his. They actually made like a 112 cab. Okay. Extension cab that goes with this. Um, but you're gonna, you can find, you can find one of these used for like around 3 350 Okay. And the head about, you know, I've seen them as low as two, I've seen them as high as three, three fifty, depending. Um, I strongly recommend if you're into that classic rock tone, that A C D C kind of raw, passionate blues rock tone, this is definitely the amp for you. And don't be afraid of the five watts. Don't be so many guys are put off with that. I've had guys literally laugh at me when I tell them I play with a five watt amp. Then they come to see my band and they're like, Oh, oh my, you know. Well, and, then, and it's just like we were saying when you came here, when you turned, when when uh, you plugged it in and turned it on, right? You know, I'm, I I I looked down at the the control panel and I said, okay, it's it, it's turned all the way up. It's, this isn't going to be that bad. <laughs> and then you started playing. It's like, um, we might want to turn down before the neighbors start complaining. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's it. You know, I I play out of a you know 150 watt Bugera, and you know, obviously that's quite a lot different. This, but right, it's gonna be a different dynamic. Right, but you know, for 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 five watts, that thing's loud. I can't even I can't even play this at home on the half watt option. I live in an apartment, so I had to buy one of those Yamaha portable amps because it gives me kind of that touch. Okay, that I need. You know, oh, you're not even running that on half watt. Yeah, if I run this on half watt, it's still too loud for where I live. I mean, <laughs> it's still too loud. It's it's unbelievable. My my singer complains all the time about my my volume in in my one band dirty canteen. Um, he, he's always saying it's just too loud. And I'm like, man, you don't know how lucky you are to have a guitar player who plays the five watt amplifier. You know, I, I, my friends are giving me trouble, and here you are saying, you know, you're you're, you're playing a five watt amplifier, and you're still being told to turn it down. And, yeah, that that's what really blew me away about this thing. Um, you know, I had some people tell me I wasn't even, even the guy that sold it to me was like, I don't know if you, you know, if you might get, you'll definitely be able to gig with it. Uh, he even gets surprised. It was his amp. Yeah. When I tell him that I'm gigging. You want to turn it, let everybody well, see the back? Let's tilt it uh, so we can see, see the controls. Yeah. Well, it's pretty, pretty simple there. Very it's simple. We got, volume, uh, I don't know if you can see that there. We volume, treble, mids, and bass. That's, That's it. it. That's absolutely it, and that's another thing that attracts me to that. I love very, as you saw with with with, with the Epiphone with the SG there. I like, I, I like as little things to worry about as possible. <laughs> now, what size speakers does that have in it? I believe it's a. I can't remember. If it's a it's ten or a twelve. It's a ten or a... I think it's a ten. Okay. I want to say it's a ten. I could be wrong on that. If I'm wrong, please forgive me. But I believe it's a ten. Um, watt speaker. I think if it was a 12, it'd have a little bit bigger um, case. Yeah, it was like a 10. Yeah, so I believe it's a 10. Um, and just the amount of output it puts out is just incredible. And um, I love the tone. I just absolutely love the tone. It, it captures that Led Zeppelin, you know, ACDC AC crunch, you know, and I, you know, I kind of sound like a broken record bringing those two bands up. But that's kind of the tone I go for, you yeah. know. So that's the um, one you want to play uh, back in black out of at full uh, at full volume. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or or Zeppelin or whatever yeah. you know. Um, this and it, it's 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 worked for me. I have I've had it for I want to say a little under two years now, or maybe around there, a year and a half, two years. I gig with it all the time. It's been in and out of vehicles. Everything. I have, I still haven't changed the tubes yet. Okay, I'm holding it. Yes. Hope they hold. Next, off next question. To ask you. Um, I have not changed the tubes yet. Um, tubes are funny. Tubes are funny, and and I have a love hate relationship with tube amps. Um, that's why I really like these the Mustangs that you guys have, right? Um, and stuff like that. I've I I always I'm a I'm a lot more afraid to play with a tube amp live than I am a solid state because solid states are going to probably turn on a lot more often, at least in my experience. You know what I mean? Um, 
Tubes are funny because they can last six hours or 60 years. You just never know when a tube's yep. gonna go. You just never know. So I always constantly, as much as I love this amp, I still have to bring my PV solid state as a backup um, for it because I just never know what's gonna happen and I don't wanna get stuck at a gig without um, having that. But um, I'm just absolutely blown away by these amps. Crank the treble, crank the middle up, turn the bass down really low. Unless it's, I found with single coils and strats, you can kind of give yourself a little bit more bass. Okay. But with a P90 pickup or a, um, a humbucker, it just seems to kind of crunch better. Now, does that have a standby switch? It does not. It does okay. not have a standby switch. Most low wattage amps don't have a standby switch. With the tubes? Yeah. I, 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 I can't even think of one off the top of my head that does. Usually if it's like 15 watts or lower, um, it usually doesn't have a standby switch. Well, are you running uh, your power tubes and the uh, preamp tubes in that, or is it just... Everything's I mean, running right now on it. Well, no, I mean, is it, it are you running just like the regular, this, the, uh, each one? Yeah, you've got your, uh, your pre the large power tubes large and power you've got the small... And... Oh, yeah, yeah, um, actually, what's... Um... Yeah, you see the board on the... Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think it's uh, two EL84s, and I can't remember what the big one is. Maybe, is that a 6L6, maybe? Not sure. Yeah. I'm just a guitar player. <laughs> so It sounds good. It sounds guitar. good, and it's it awesome. Good and if it breaks, I take it to Bill and have him fix it for me. There you go. He is the best, so... Um, Hopefully that doesn't happen because I really, that's like my biggest fear is having my amp go out on me. Especially, I love this amp. I just, I love the tone of it. Um, it's absolutely a super value, a value that doesn't even exist on the market anymore, which is why Marshall stopped making them. This is made in England. Right. This is a real Marshall. Um, I, I, I honestly think they could have charged a lot more for these. And I think that was probably the reason why they stopped making them. It's just that they were losing money on them. Is that amp pretty heavy? Not at all. Um, I mean, it's not super light. I don't know the exact weight on it. I mean, what would you say, Dave? Like, was that 10? Yeah, about that. 10, around 15 yeah, pounds. 15 pounds, somewhere in there. Um, I do. I was fortunate to get one that had a cover. The the person I bought it from already had a cover on it. I feel that really helps because there's I don't know if you can see that there's a grill up here. The venting on top. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, for something to spill down in there would be kind of scary. Um, they're just awesome amps. If you can find one, pick up. They're they're out there. This isn't as you know. We were talking about rare stuff before. These aren't super rare, but they don't make them anymore. So um, you can pick what you can pick up the head or the combo for like around three three fifty somewhere. Sometimes even cheaper depending on on the buyer. Um, they're beautiful amps. I love the jewel light there. How that shines. Yeah. Um, Absolutely beautiful amp, and and it, it doesn't get people talk about it because they're like, I can't believe that's only five watts. Yeah, yeah. I'll be at a jam or I'll be at a gig, and they'll be like, I just cannot believe that's five watts. I use this amp. Uh, me and Bill were both using our our, our classifieds when you guys came and saw us that one time. Okay. Um. So they're just absolutely awesome. Um. I find that they kind of take. Um, humbuckers and P90s a little better, just my own personal opinion. I've had some people tell me that they like, they like the way Strats and Tellys sound better through it. So it's just kind of uh, your own thing with it. Um, very well made. Um, like I said, I've gigged the heck out of this thing and I haven't had any issues yet. Um, I'd love to own a couple more just to have the backups for them because it's like I, now that I have that tone, I always want right. that tone. You know, and I want that tone. Once I have you search so long to find a sound and then it's there that you, know, you like want to hold on to it and never <laughs> yeah. use it, you know. Um, well, uh, you want to... Uh, yeah, you want me to fire it up? Yeah, do a demo of it. Sweet. I got clean sound and then... Uh, okay. Should I keep it on the... Yeah, just keep it on the... We'll keep it on it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get these guys in trouble with the cops or anything. <laughs> anything so. so if I just kind of roll off a little bit and the other thing that's cool about... Uh, um, the class fives is they're very touch responsive. So just by playing lighter, it's I don't even really have to turn down too much on my, on the knobs. You know, I can just kind of. Now I have I have the volume.
I'm cranked all the way up right now. So that's why I'm getting that 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 drive to it. Right. Yeah. Um, if I, you know, if I were to roll off of it here and then go here, I'll, I'll get, I'll get, I can get a bright, I can get, you know, a cleaner. You know, it'll yeah. clean up yeah. that way. But I just, what I like to do, um, you guys know Phil X, right? I think we talked yep. about that earlier. Yep. He, he's kind of that way where he'll crank, he likes to crank a low wattage amp or whatever. He likes to crank his amp and then use his knobs to dial in all his sounds yeah. you know, as far as cleaning and everything like that um so i like to just drive it and um you know so if i if i just want to you know kind of Yeah, it does. It has that that classic that classic crunch to it. So, um, and I just I've never seen an amp spark such a phenomenon amongst my friends and, and, yeah. and bandmates. Like everyone just rushed out and got one of these. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I want that tone too. So like everyone went and got one, and 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 they sound great together too. When me and Bill are playing together in the band, we both have these going. You know. Um, you know, obviously he'll have his own guitar and right. pedals and all that stuff, and he plays other amps too, and so do I. But um, they they mix well together um, when you're jamming, and they're just really well made. You you can tell how solid it is when you, I would just I would stay away from the version ones. Um, how you can tell it's a version one? That's very important. Um, the version one will not have the attenuator switch on the back. I also believe it doesn't have. I could be wrong about this, but I also believe the version one does not have the speaker extension too. Okay. So I can plug this into a 412 yeah. if I wanted to, or whatever cabinet I wanted to plug into, as small or as big as I want. Obviously, that's going to change the the the, the right. dynamic of it. Um, I'm absolutely in love with these amps. Um, you know, I've I've been searching for you know, and I've never really been the biggest Marshall guy. You know, I'm not I, I, I'm not one of those guys like this is my brand, that's what I play. You know, I'll play a box, I'll play a whatever. Um, but there's a lot of brands out there that make amps I don't like, and there's some brands that, you know, they have a couple models that I do like. This is one of those in you know, and I, and I do love Marshall, I love a lot of the stuff they make, but they also make a lot of lower end stuff that I'm not I'm not right. too happy with. Yeah. Um, so but this amp in particular is just it's, it's been awesome. I, I've I've had no no complaints about it whatsoever. Um, just wish I had more of them. <laughs> so that's always kind of the the problem with it. But uh, yeah, let's jam it out a little bit. <laughs> So they're awesome ads. Marshall Class 5. Get one. Rock out with it. Rock out with your friends. Rock out with your bandmates. And um, Try not to scare your neighbors. Try not to scare your neighbors. And like <laughs> I said, just so everyone knows out there, every even in, in, the, in the video we did with the guitar, in the video we've done with the, the amplifier, this has been on a half watt setting. I have, yeah, oh, have, not, done on I have not even pushed it to 5 watts because if I push it to 5 watts right now our heads are probably going to explode and I don't want to do that. <laughs> it's a big mess that no one wants to clean up so um, oh, okay any questions? no any that's, that's just questions? amazing 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 little amp it is it, it really does sound awesome yeah it, it's a, it's so cool it's got that vintage tone I absolutely love it it's very portable you know um, when I'm gigging I have to pick up my drummer and we drive his pickup truck and all his stuff's in the back and my all my stuff's kind of in the cab of the truck so this amp literally sits in between me and my drummer as we're driving two hours to Wisconsin <laughs> and my guitars are behind us and everything like that so it's very portable um, I would if you can mic it if you're in a, a live band situation where you can mic it I would do that I would it, it just sounds so awesome when it's mic'd 
Um, but in a small bar situation, Blues Jam, you if you love it, you know you elevate it on a chair or whatever yeah. or an amp stand. Um, you will be able to hear yourself over the drummer as long as the nice. drummer's not like super crazy about it. <laughs> <laughs> and we we've seen them before. Oh, yes, yeah. they, they have. And my 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 drummer plays pretty loud in, in at least Dirty Canteen. Um, you know our other drummer Kim and Blind Robbins. He's he's got a really you know good sensitive touch and. You know, it's kind of our style when we need to play low, we will. You know, Dirty Canteen's kind of more like, you know, loud and and uh, and and that certain push all the time. But I I, I like when a drummer can can touch it, control that. Yeah, the, I always I always really dr you know judge a drummer on how well he can you know touch a room. And um, I'm very fortunate to play with two drummers that 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 know that understand that. And understand that I'm playing with a five watt amp, so please don't drown me out. <laughs> you know, so um, yeah, and it works. So Marshall Class Five, if you can find one, pick one up, um, try it out. They're awesome. You'll love it if you like classic rock tone. <laughs> Sounds good. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, guys. It's been an honor to be yep. part of the DW, uh, DW well, Cover Project. Welcome back anytime. Yeah, I will, you are. Oh, I will be back. I, I will okay. love to go to that. So, um, <laughs> I'm kind of thinking maybe next time we can like uh, plug the Kramer into that uh, half yeah, stack yeah. or something. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I can kind of relive some of my uh, metal days a little bit with Dave over here. There you so, go. Yeah, there you go. You know, we'll get a joke at Jam. As much as I love classic rock and blues, I'm still a metal guy at heart. So, um, you know, I like to tap into all my sides. So. <laughs> Um, I really appreciate you guys having me on. DW Cover Project Rules. Thanks for coming. This is Wayne, David, and Jason. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Keep on rocking. Rock and roll, guys.